Welcome back, newbies. This is the Hive Doctor, your beekeeping mentor. It's my job to take the guesswork out of beekeeping for you. Today, we're going to be talking about the full suit. So protective gear is what we've got on our minds today. And as, as well as the uh, full suit, we're going to cover beekeeping gloves. So stick around. All right, so possibly the video most of you have been waiting for is the one that's going to cover the full suit. This is going to give you full coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this on and explaining the design and the pros and cons behind it. I've gone ahead and put my legs through this. This is very much designed like coveralls. There's one main zipper that co comes up the middle. So this is the portion where you stick your legs through Put your arms in, pull it up and over your shoulders. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna start from the bottom and go up. First off, I'm wearing a cowboy style boot. That's not necessary, but when it comes to footwear, you want something with a high ankle to it um, to help give you protection. You want the ankle to go up into the pants leg of this so that this covers that. And when you do that, it helps keep bees from crawling up your pants legs and finding their way in. And this is designed to where it's got a nice zipper that comes halfway up the calf. So that's unzipped when you put it on, while you're putting it on. Uh, but once you got it on, you zip that down and it cinches it nice, nicely around your, your boots, or your shoes, whatever you've got. The next part is, there's a two part zipper here. You pull the top one up, almost all the way and then you pull your veil over and it's kind of hard to reach sometimes Ugh. once the veil is pulled over and that veil has to be in an unzipped position in order to get on so my zipper there's two zippers on this one's right here and the other one's over here to close it i pull one all the way forward to the center now pull the other one all the way forward to meet that. And at this point, I've got three zippers meeting at the same point. And then this Velcro strap straps down over all of them so that the bees don't have any way in. Now I'm protected with my fencing style veil. I've got elastic bands around my wrists, my ankles, and this particular one is a ventilated suit. Because one of the issues that you're going to face in beekeeping is since you've got to wear this protective gear, it's going to get hot. So they've really come a long way in their designs by creating a nice mesh style suit so that wind can ventilate in and out, especially when you're sweating, it's going to cool you off. But then also it's thick enough to where bees can't sting through it. And this has got three layers. It's got an, out, an external mesh, an internal mesh, and sandwiched in between those two layers is sort of like a, a foam layer that gives you that extra depth so that the bee's stinger can't reach all the way down and through. And you notice this one's got two pockets, reinforced knees on both. It, uh, it's got canvas around the wrists, it's got pockets up front. You really don't use pockets much as a beekeeper because you're not really standing around with your hands in your pockets. But it's great for holding your lighter. You're always going to be carrying a lighter when you're a beekeeper to light your smoker. And there's no back pockets in this, but there is another half elastic band around the waist here to kind of cinch it in a little bit. They don't make beekeeping suits to be fitted. They're always going to feel like you're swimming in them. I'm a, you know, I'm a pretty thin guy and, and this is, this would take a bigger, a bigger man than me. Now I'm six foot four, so I had to get like an extra large so that I had the height. I do like this suit. I wish it had a round style veil and technically I could probably unzip this veil off and find a round style and zip it on. I just haven't done it since I don't use it a lot, but it is, it's very nice. It's cool. It's lightweight and I feel protected in this thing. Now we're going to cover beekeeping gloves. 
and they're pretty simple. I recommend that you get some that are ventilated and whatever uh, protective gear that you decide to go with, minimal, medium, a lot, these gloves are designed to, uh, to go over the sleeve of whatever you wear. So you see right here, it's actually pulling over my elbow. So that's really good protection. And it's got the same thick layer mesh that the, the suit does that you saw the video for. And a nice goat leather uh, palm. And uh, I definitely recommend if you're gonna go with beekeeping gloves that you get goat leather. The goat leather is gonna give you much more dexterity when you're working in the hive. See right now my fingers, they fill up the glove just right. So I'm able to like handle the frames in the hive without any issue. But with the cowhide leather, there's a lot of extra material at the top here. It's a lot thicker and it's harder to feel what you're doing. So definitely go with goat leather. It's softer, thinner, more supple. And uh, this is a medium size. I normally wear a large glove, but the medium beekeeping glove in goat leather gives me a really nice tight fit uh, to give me the dexterity that I want for a hive inspection. This particular brand is the first time I've ever bought this brand. It's, it's called Guardian Bee Apparel. And so far, I like the quality of their stuff. There's one glove I recommend that you not get, and that's the canvas beekeeping glove. They're sort of yellowish in color. Uh, their material is way too thin. The bees can still sting right through them. And they're treated with something. I'm not sure what, but whatever it is, the bees hate it. And I don't even have to get very far into a hive inspection before the bees are stinging up my arm, my wrist, my hand. They're not worth it. Uh, I still have them. I don't even know why. I should just throw them away, but don't get those. So the two elements that I definitely recommend if you're going to get beekeeping gloves is make sure that it's ventilated and that you get one of goat leather rather than cowhide. You're going to have a, a lot better time with that and there'll be a lot less cussing. <laughs> the cowhide has just been a pain in the butt since I've every time I've ever used them. They have a lot of extra material in the thumb. Your thumb gets, the extra material gets stuck underneath a frame when you're trying to put it back. You drop things, just avoid that headache and go ahead and go with the goat leather. So after this now, the next video is gonna be the recommended protective gear for beekeeping. So you can go ahead and get over to that and get started. I'll see you there. As always, thank you for watching my apprentices. Don't forget to drop me one of these. Check the description and the links below for the tools and equipment and gear that I use. And don't forget to subscribe.